Welcome to my channel. First of all, I would like to wish you all a very happy World Theatre Day. I am in Georg Art Space in Bali, Indonesia and here I am with Professor Dr. Ivan Divya. How much is he still? He is an artist and scholar of Balinese performing arts. Recently, he received the Padma Shri Award, which is the fourth highest civilian award from the government of India. Sir, yeah. congratulations for receiving the Padma most Shri. prestigious award. Yeah. And thank you. Um, thank you. Like, uh, it's, it's, our, uh, it's an honor for every recipient. And um, like, we always feel that uh, to get uh, this kind of award, mm -hmm. Uh, we have to work for a long time yeah. and I'm sure that you have yeah. worked since your childhood. So yes. just let me know how you started your journey um, in the field of art. Okay. Uh, in the field of performing art, it's really happening uh, in line with the uh, tradition of my family. Okay. My father and my mother, both of them were great dancers and res uh, respected performers not only here in this village, but also all over Bali. Okay. Because they are, they are very uh, well known to, to uh, dance drama called Arjil and Toppings. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I must say that uh, during my childhood, I was trying to break the tradition of my family. Uh, the reason being, I feel very comfortable playing gamelan, okay. playing music, more than dancing on stage mm -hmm. and uh, I guess that somehow re related to the uh, bad experience mm -hmm. of my father when he began to dance he got some kind of a criticism and also looked down by the local audience mm -hmm. and some of them uh, even said that he's not going to be a good performer. Okay, is it because uh, like a male dancer? No, because uh, his, his skin is kind of dark and okay. also he's not too charming. Okay. Yeah, and having this kind of story from my mother, I feel like maybe I will get the same things when I uh, go on the track of, of a, a dancer like my father. Uh, but uh, after a while, I was trying to go away from this kind of line. Instead of being a dancer, I want to be a musician. Yeah, I worked very hard for almost 12 years. In music? Yeah, in music. That Play. is that, uh, gamelan music? Yes. Okay. Although I started learning dance when I was nine or eight even. Yeah. But not really interested in being a dancer. But more being a musician and composer. And because of that, I spent my time uh, I devote my time to play gamelan until my third year at the high school. And as you know, I went to a, a performing arts school in Denpasar. Mm -hmm. And entering my third year, I got my small chance to dance uh, a small part, um, not, not small part, really, important part of, of Ramayana, Vim Hanuman. So as soon as I joined that uh, dance drama and became Hanuman, I realized my world changed completely. So before, as a musician, I got not a good treatment in that field, okay. and different, so different from from being a, a dancer. Because right away, I got a very different kind of a. a, a uh, appreciation by my groups and by my school and uh, till right after the performance two of my mentor my teacher the head of the school came back state and tell me I mean told me from now on you concentrate on dancing stop playing music okay so as we all know in India and in, in mm -hmm. Indonesia mm -hmm. mostly yeah. In uh, Southeast Asian yeah. countries, yeah. there are 
uh, the uh, performance mm-hmm. of Ramayana is very important. Yeah. There are so many plays based yeah. on Ramayana and yeah. Mahabharata. Yeah. 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 And in Bali also, are, yeah. I already have seen so many yeah. performances. Yeah. It's not just only uh, like drama, yeah. it's always like puppet and can you, can yeah. you just uh, tell well, us like yes. how many theatre forms are related to yeah. the it's a, it's a, it's Ramayana? A major, it's, a, it's a major dramatic resources, both Ramayana and Mahabharata. So that's the thing that I feel like strongly was the reason why I was chosen as the recipient of uh, Padma Sri. Because almost 50 years now, I devoted my time working on Ramayana and Mahabharata. Mm-hmm. Sometimes on Mahabharata, sometimes on Ramayana. But in my experience, my role of Hanuman is really giving me more kind of chance to perform Ramayana. Mm-hmm. Because as soon as I resumed that part in 1969, three months after that, I was, I was chosen as Hanuman from Bali to the Ramayana festival in Pravanan, Central Java. Okay. It's, a very, it's a very important role there because I was the only Hanuman from Bali. In Java, they have three Hanumans for the uh, first scene, second scene, the fighting scene. Yeah. And I was the only one for doing the whole things. And after the festival, I was also chosen as the Hanuman to perform Ramayana outside Bali. Okay. First, we start in, started in uh, Persepolis, uh, Iran. And then on the way back, we stopped in India. And I performed Ramayana in New Delhi. So this is in which year? Uh, 1996. 1996. Yeah. So that was your first tour or to India or before? Yes, that, might, that was my first and, and even even most scary experience for me that about three hours before the performance, the, the, the group leader called me and telling me, Divya, this is India. I thought he was joking and I, I re- respond to that, yeah, we are in New Delhi, of course we are in India. <laughs> and he said, I'm not telling you that about, about, about New Delhi. I'm telling you about how the Indian people uh, regard Hanuman here. Yes. In this country, Hanuman is not a monkey. It's, it's a, a demigod. God. Yeah. And I was kind of looking at him with big confusion. Being a young dancer, given this kind of a, 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 a order to change my performance, three hours before the performance, it's a big shock for me. But luckily, my other teacher called me and telling me, did you cut this part, cut this part and add this. So instead of performing Hanuman as a monkey, I put Hanuman as a demigod by dancing more in a standing position instead of kneeling. Okay. I used to do somersault, I used to do back roll like that, yeah, just like monkey. Mm-hmm. But for that, performance in, in New Delhi. I cut all that, except during the fighting. But during the uh, meeting scene with Rama and Sita, I put Anoman as a dignified kind of character. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the performance, the audience really giving me great attention, showing their appreciation by giving me like three kind of uh, flowers on my neck. Okay. Okay. And Rama just next to me, <laughs> Not giving any attention, <laughs> but just Hanuman. Yeah, I still have the, the picture okay. of receiving that. So, that is the experience that motivated me so strongly and to dig more Ramayana, Ramayana, Ramayana. And in Bali now, we have at least six major forms to okay. perform Ramayana. Okay. Yeah, first one is a Shadow Puppet. Shadow Puppet. Yeah, and then a mass dance drama called Ramayana, uh, uh, Wayangu. Wayangu. Ah. So the shadow puppet is called um, Wayangkulit. Wayang yeah. yeah. And then Wayangu. Wayang. And then Kecha. Yes. And we have uh, Senratari. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Bali, Bali dance drama. And then we have also uh, Legong dance. Mm-hmm. There's, a, there's a Legong piece that uh, telling the story between uh, the fighting between uh, Subali and Sugriva. Yeah, 
in so like these, these are like traditionally traditional items like traditional performance or you create those performances no no this is uh, this traditional okay so uh, there is no no because in indian dance sometimes when we classical dancers mm-hmm. are doing mm-hmm. performances yeah. we sometimes create the performance like mm-hmm. it's like a, production mm-hmm. so all these are not production no. these are like it's completely yeah. traditional which yeah. is going on for Com- a long time yeah classical forms okay but they use different part of the ramayana story okay yeah mm-hmm. and then uh, later on we have kind of arjuna dance drama okay that used to be a performance of japanese panji story okay but since 1972 Uh, they began to adapt Ram- Ramayana there, and I was a Hanuman for this uh, dance drama also. Okay. So it's getting more, yeah. And of course, contemporary forms mm-hmm. we we use also Ramayana, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that shows that Ramayana is a, a a very important dramatic resources here in Bali, mm-hmm. yeah. Almost similar to Mahabharata. Mm-hmm. So that is why, for me. working on this two great uh, epics from mm-hmm. india give me a lot of flexibility also because the story is so is so complex mm-hmm. so there are many different different line that you can draw and to command on the uh, actual kind of a uh, condition now yeah like when i was working on pralaya Yeah, I was just supposed to like ask you about uh, because I have seen I I have I have seen you first when you perform mm-hmm. pa- pralaya yeah. uh, at Arsen yeah. Arsen Center I think uh, yeah, yeah. I, in, uh, in, yeah. in university easy, easy. easy. Yeah. yeah so that was when I first saw you on stage mm-hmm. performing uh, the characters of uh, Vishma uh, 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 no with uh, what is it uh, uh, yeah the old man the a uh, vyasa uh, vyasa yes, yeah. the vyasa yeah. and it was amazing mm-hmm. so pralaya was the first uh, performance uh, which i saw yeah and that day actually i saw you first mm-hmm. time on stage performing and i get to know about you <laughs> and uh, i was eagerly uh, waited um, uh, in the audience to meet you mm-hmm. and It was a small introduction, and you don't know me by that time. And at the time, yeah. Yeah, and I met um, Lataji Lata, also there, yeah, and yeah. it was a wonderful performance. Yeah, yeah. And uh, like how you started uh, like collaborating with Indian classical dance forms, like why yeah. and how it happened. Well, th- the why is that I know very strongly that that we have very long cultural bridges between Bali and India. so there shouldn't be a problem for us to to combine our two cultures just a matter of how we combining it mm-hmm. yeah because the story of ramayana ram mahabharata in india and and bali basically the same only certain part may be uh, perceived differently but the main part the same yeah this is why when i work with with uh, pralaya so we both agree that we can we can use the old story to command on a contemporary condition mm-hmm. so agree on that uh, and then we begin to work step by step but it began when when lata came to to geox and attending a performance i guess she was in ubud at the time and uh, she came attending the performance and, and the, the the minute she saw the the performance here and after that she said but did you uh i'm thinking of making a production together in the future mm-hmm. and i said i will love to because i've been i've been waiting for chance to collaborate with indian uh, artists because i've been working with americans been working with the uh, chinese and working with with other uh, other other performers from different part of the world so will be will be great if i have a chance to work on cultural tradition with the same root which is india mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so this is the time for us to prove that we can do something together 
because we have the same root of, of culture tradition. So after looking at different parts of the story, we decided to do the uh, Pandawa and Korawa playing dice. Mm -hmm. Because at the time, we feel like world leaders are in the stable of gambling now. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, politics, politics. and all that. Yeah. So, based on that, we, we, we explore more how we pull the angle of this part of the story to command of this uh, uh, condition. So finally, we, we came up with that. And I, I like the idea of starting the uh, performance with invocation of Ganesha like yes, that. Yes, yes. Yeah, because that's also important in Bali. We always start the performance with greeting gods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, invoking uh, protection and also spirits from the gods to make our performance more interesting to the uh, audience. And, and luckily it's all matched nicely like mm -hmm. that. And I also like the way you present that both the, both the dance form because Balinese and Bharatanatyam dance form, mm -hmm. uh, the way you gel both, mm -hmm. uh, like sometimes it's like a uh, completely mix of both dances. Yeah. Like, I have seen, I think, Bharatanatyam dancers were doing uh, Balinese yes. dance yeah. and similarly Balinese dancers were doing Bharatanatyam yes. dance. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a, a good combination of both dance forms. Yeah, true, so true. How, how you like create that kind of uh, body postures and okay. movements? <laughs> it was very, very challenging for me uh, and Latapada, of course. And uh, we came with a word simplification. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We sim simplify both the movement of Bharatanatyam in terms of the use of mudra mm -hmm. and also the, the body movement of Balinese dance. Mm -hmm. So in that way, so we push slightly the use of mudra from Bharatanatyam and we push slightly the, the, the body movement, uh, the free use of, 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 of hands of a Balinese okay. dancer. Okay. And then in that way they become equal. Okay. Yeah. And as we establish that, easier for me to, to blend the, the the movement. In terms of blending process, I always uh, decided with, with Lata, do you like this one? Or oh, sometimes if she came up with with, with with idea, you like this one. Mm -hmm. So it's become a collaboration from our heart, mm -hmm. not only, only, only to the production itself. It's really making our feeling close to each other. And this is the first time I, I enjoy the collaborations after mm -hmm. a long time. Yeah, because my last collaboration that I like also with my partner in America, Kit Terry, we always like family. Okay. So we blend our idea not only on stage but also socially. Okay. Yeah. So I think that that the key word of of the uh, collaboration, when once dominate each other, it will it not creating not. a good collaboration. Yeah. And yeah. I must say that uh, fortunately I am a part of your one collection <laughs> and um, because uh, some of the part which mm -hmm. I was doing mm -hmm. in Odyssey and. Mm -hmm. uh, I always ask, sir, can I do this? Mm. Even on the program, mm. yeah. the day of the program, mm. I, in the morning I called, sir, I'm mm. going to change this part. And he said, mm. yeah, it's okay. Like, you do your part, no, no problem. From my side, no problem. So that yeah. liberty you always give to your dancers. Yeah, yeah, and because I know like, you, you, will, you will not going beyond the frame. Yeah, after, after we have conversation, after we have rehearsal, I have the trust. Yeah, that you you know the 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 limits that, that, that you go. So by having this kind of confidence, I have no doubt of that. Yeah, but when you ask, can I change to this? Do that. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, that's really amazing. Like uh, I know um, him, uh, his work, and um, in that way, I'm a very uh, young dancer. <laughs> And um, asking him, taking his permission uh, 
on the day of the performance, even before the performance, I am going to change this, and he is saying <laughs> yes, and that is a big thing for me. Uh, so while we are talking about this, is this is the production called uh, the Cry of Sita, uh -huh. and uh, which is an amazing production. Uh, can you just tell me, like, how you thought of? Presenting something with poetry, and that is okay. one of your book, yeah. uh, the book of your poetry. Yeah. Uh, what's the name of the book? Uh, 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 the uh, poetry katari, which is uh, okay. dance poetry. Dance poetry. Okay. Yeah. So it is like a dance poetry. The po poetry, uh, the uh, the reciters are uh, reciting the po poems. Mm -hmm. And we are performing with the gamelan music, yeah. and uh, it was amazing. Just, just explain uh, well, like how you c come to this, came to this uh, idea that you will uh, combine those. There is yeah. also a use yeah. of puppet is there, yeah. Yeah. and yeah, obviously Balinese and Indian dance. Yeah. Well, this production is a is a, a very special production coming up from my books entitled the the story of Hanuman. Yeah, it's a one book on my poetry of dance the, uh, describing the story of Hanuman, what he was uh, attending, what, what he was uh, looking for and all of that things. And the title of that book is like Kasaksian and Pengakuan uh, Hanuman, the admission of, I mean, the, uh, the confession. Of Hanuman. So after I read part by part of the poetry, I feel like this should be this part should be performed because it's very strong. Yeah, which is the end during the uh, the war. Yeah, and I also ask the poetry readers, do you think that you will be able to to read this? To convey this kind of message, and when they look, this is a great poetry for us to to, to read. And that process taking place while I was in the middle of going to India okay. to receive this award. Yeah. So I feel this is a golden opportunity for me to prove to the world, especially to the Indian governments, how much I commit my my artistic kind of activities to bridge our two cultures between India and Indonesia, especially Bali. So this is just the right, the right choice for me, how to produce a piece that combining Balinese and Indian. And that is why I decided to include Odyssey after knowing you, after watching your performance, and I saw you are a perfect kind of a uh, a sita for <laughs> for this piece because your Odyssey dance really match nicely the concept of what, what I have here because it should convey the different feelings of sita so that's one thing in Bali if I use only Balinese dance so we miss many different parts of it so this is why I include puppets also and of course because this based on poetry readings so I invited uh, recitals from yeah. the uh, uh, poetry readers yeah. to read the uh, poetry that I already uh, choose and yeah. um, maybe two, two stanzas for one's uh, readers and all of the things I, I, I put into a new scenario and it turned out they're all very happy to give an assignment like that so, be, uh, because of that, as soon as I finish with, with the uh, uh, kind of rough idea of putting uh, Indian o o Odyssey dance and then Balinese dance and the puppets, all of the things, and then I come to the musician. And in my mind, this music shouldn't be too loud and too elaborate, but strong enough to underline the dramatic scenes. Mm -hmm. And luckily, I got my friends, uh, Wayan Sudiarse, who's very sensitive to dramatic forms also. So he understood completely my, my idea. He usually play with 16 people, and here I ask only half. So mm -hmm. give me only eight people. Yeah. 
and I came to his place to listen to the music and I mixed some kind of change. And again, after 12 years of spending time to learn music, so I became very sensitive to music. Yeah. So I, I changed some of the music that I feel not fit with the, with the scene and he's welcome for me to correct that. And really a great satisfaction for me working with such a beautiful and great people who understood what we are going to achieve with this. Yeah, with some kind of adjustment. Should I just meet someone like you? Uh, could you do this? Well, I will do, but it should be on my way. Yeah, I will do it in my way mm -hmm. instead of in your way. So, uh, um, I feel my, myself very fortunate because uh, meeting, meeting a, a, a poetry readers who are willing to work together uh, based on what we have written in the, in the scenario. So when, when we practice and I listen to them uh, reading the poetry and I listen carefully by imagining, is this fit with, with the character of Sita or Hanuman? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it's too strong, I try to, to reduce it, to make it softer. Yeah, the same thing I did with, 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 with Hanuman. Yeah, I insisted that Gide, you have to know word by word of your part, mm -hmm. because that will means how you deal with Sita. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, after a kind of a rehearsal here once, and, and he got it, and then uh, uh, with the musician also. So that is really just lucky to find uh, the right artist willing to collaborate, willing to do what I feel should be in the piece, yeah, without, without cutting the, the chance for them to slightly improvise mm -hmm. and making the, the production always alive. Even the rehearsal from the first uh, group rehearsal here, we see something different and the next day is slightly different, but the frame of the work is still the same. Yeah, so I like, I, the, I like that. The, the interesting part is like when I am dancing with Ram, mm -hmm. so it's like Rama is the puppet yeah. and the pu puppeteer. Like yeah. I am dancing with both of yeah. the, the element, like the, yeah. the person and the puppet. Yeah. So it is. Uh, sometimes it's difficult for me to concentrate on the mm -hmm. puppet or should I yeah. concentrate on the puppet or the well, person but yeah. it was like w w when I saw the video it was so interesting yeah. to see like it, it, it it's just like a uh, nice picture they both there they both there they, they can speak through the puppet they yeah. can speak through the uh, the human characters there yes, yes. and that was the idea to add the dimensions yeah, of yeah. the of the performance and hopefully next time I will be able to, to make a little bit bigger uh, puppet so it's close to the, uh, the uh, human kind of size. Okay. okay. Yeah. So then when, when the puppet holds your back or touch your, 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 your chin, so that will be make, make, make more sense. And yet the puppeteer is also, also expressing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now puppet is too small, yeah, and, and sometimes I feel a bit uh, strange to see that kind of uh, the size is a little bit too small, but if I can make like 50 more percent bigger, mm -hmm. so that would be closer to that. And, and again, the dimension of the, of the piece will be much richer than that. Yeah. Yeah. So it is uh, like especially the dimension is uh, mm -hmm. wonderful in, the, in this production. Mm -hmm. uh, so many things are going on stage, yeah. but it's a, it's a complete picture yeah. which I really uh, like. Like and uh, the scenes are is like um, every time it, it gives a different kind of rasa, mm -hmm. like different yeah. kind yes. of um, uh, like uh, mm, expression, mm -hmm. and as well as an environment mm -hmm. uh, which can take the audience mm. deeper into it. Yeah. So yeah. that is yeah. the beauty of the production. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so thank you so much for your time. Mm -hmm. And But uh, I will conclude with a question. Mm -hmm. uh, how you are like 
what do you think about the future of the next generation maybe the generation of mm-hmm. us yeah. like how they are pro- like processing their uh, uh, art form well, the theater form of bali and as yeah. well as uh, you have seen indian people also yes so, uh, this will this will uh, inspire this will inspire uh, inspire them a lot because with this production people from the uh, literature can involve directly mm-hmm. instead of just writing something and ask the choreographer to choreograph but in this production they can really perform on stage yeah and elements of foreign art like indians for me india and bali even in java there's not too much of different because we we, we speak about the same body language there yeah just a matter of how we we blend them together and i think with this kind of production many people will get inspired by and uh, i have very optimistic kind of uh, hope that soon we will see some new kind of production that also following this kind of idea because the poetry that i i i wrote is actually the opposite way of writing poetry from from those of the uh, poet mm-hmm. yeah in this i use dance music or uh, activities of of uh, uh, artists into a poetry instead of writing a poetry translated into movement mm-hmm. yeah so i have a big hope this will 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 make a good change positive change for the future of Balinese performing arts. Thank yeah. you so much. I'm sure that not only uh, Balinese performing arts, it will inspire uh, the Indian people also and uh, the, all the performers uh, who yeah. are involved into this field. And uh, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. You're uh, welcome. Like it's, it's an amazing um, opportunity for me to, uh, to know more about <laughs> him. So here is, uh, we are completing this conversation. Thank you for watching. Namaste.